I pray for our single journey, Lord God, that we will not despise being single. Lord God, because in this time, Lord God, you want to reveal yourself, Lord, like never before. And you want to have a personal relationship with us, Lord God, when we're single to every single woman, every single man, Lord God, that's out there that really wants to be married and Lord God wants to have a family, Lord God, and of their own, children of their own, Lord God, a relationship of their own. Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus that a single people, Lord God, Lord Jesus, <laughs> in whatever capacity that made us single, Lord God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that your will is done in our single season. Hallelujah, whatever we need to learn in our singleness, Lord God, that we will learn it. However, we need to prepare in our singleness, Lord God, that you will prepare us. Lord God, take away all the baggage, Lord God, that we carry from previous relationships. Every soul tie, Lord God, that, ha that we have created on our own, Lord God. Lord Jesus, that you would just deliver us from it, Lord God. Consume it by fire, Lord God. So, Lord Jesus, in our singleness, Lord God, we will take care of the things that need to be taken care of. So that when you do bring us, Lord God, to our husband and to our wife, Lord God, Lord Jesus, that we will not take into that relationship any old news. Lord God, you said when you have new wineskins, Lord God, it has to be new wine in there. It cannot be the old things. It can't be the old impurities in there, Lord God. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you will refine us, Lord God, Lord Jesus, that you will prepare us in the name of Jesus, that you will teach us. In the name of Jesus, that we will learn, Lord God, and that we will obey you, God. We will humble ourselves under your mighty hand, Lord God. And Lord Jesus, we will be where we need to be, Lord God, where we have that personal, intimate relationship together, Lord God. You and I, and you and others, Lord God, and you, Lord God, we will always be together, Lord God. And Others will always be with you, Lord God, because, Lord Jesus, that is a strong bond, Lord God, that can't be broken. We cannot be distracted anymore, Lord God. Lord Jesus, we need to make it to heaven, Lord God. So even we will not make our being together with our husband or our wife, Lord God, and having this relationship and taking that blessing and making that blessing a God. Oh, God, but instead, God will be the center of our our union with whoever you have prepared for us. And I know that our spouse, Lord God, is praying for us. Our future spouse is praying for us as well, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. But in our single season, Lord God, we're getting our lives together spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially, Lord God. We're getting the word that we need that's going to sustain us, Lord God, not just for a relationship, but because of our ministry that we're going to have and because of what we need to do for the future. You said, for you, you know the thoughts that you think to us, that's, that's a thoughts of good and not of evil, to give us a future and a hope, to give us an expected end. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah, Lord God, Lord Jesus. So in our singleness, I pray that we are calm. I pray that we have the peace. I pray that we have the joy of the Lord that we need, that we develop. Lord God, the fruit of the Spirit, Lord God, it'll grow, Lord God. Lord Jesus, our trees, our roots, well, roots are are, are growing and, and, and searching for the waters. And as we have the vine growing, that the vine will just grow and we'll have the nourishment that we need, Lord God, to stay focused on Jesus Christ. Even in our blessings, Lord God, when we get blessed, Lord God, and we have the family, Lord God, we will be strong. We will be that strong branch, that strong tree, Lord God, that we won't 
We won't break. We won't go away from God because we got blessed or because of different distractions coming in our lives. Oh God, we will stay focused. And in our single season, we will be used even more. And that that single season is the foundation of what we're going to do for the rest of our lives, Lord God. And whatever we need to do, Lord God, for you, Lord God, Lord Jesus, will glorify you, Lord God, and represent you on earth. Lord God, when we make it to heaven, hallelujah, Lord God, we want to do the things that we need to do, Lord God, to make it to heaven. And so I pray, Lord God, in our single season, we're honoring you, God, that we're content in you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. You say you are our husband. Hallelujah. You are the lover of our souls, Lord God, Lord Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we seek first the kingdom of God and your righteousness and all these things should be added unto us. Lord God, don't let us lose heart and lose hope. And Lord Jesus, even if you don't want us to get married, you want us to stay focused on you, Lord God, let your will be done. In the name of Jesus, I pray in our single season, Lord God, that we will obey you, God, that we will hear the voice of the Lord and do what you say do, God. Put that contentment in us, Lord God. Don't let us, Lord, waver. Don't let us waver away from you and our focus needs to be on you. Focus on Jesus and you will guide us. Guide us, Lord, like you want to guide us, Lord God. Let us humble ourselves. We Let us come to you, Lord God, cling to you, glorify you, and be so engrossed in you, Lord God, and the things of God and the things of heaven that when and if you bring that spouse to us, Lord God, we will be so enwrapped in you, Lord God, that we're not, we're not worried about the situation. And when it comes or when she comes, we'll be so focused on you. And we won't give up on you. Because we think time is going past or we're getting too old or we think, that we'll never be in love again. No, Lord, let our focus be on you and let us believe God in what you said. We have to get to the Father's business. And so I pray in our single life and our single season that we get to the Father's business like you want us to get to. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.